Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Storky Forms Day. Okay, I'm in a hurry at the farmer's market this morning. I still have to feed and water the animals. But I did want to bring something to your attention. Been listening to different YouTubers, different platforms. I don't really listen to the news. My son is a Florida National Guardsman. You guys know that. But he also attends a church in Tampa, Florida called The River. Their pastor actually ordered anti-radiation pills for his entire congregation six months ago. Think about that. He said he felt like the Holy Spirit told him to get them, and this is what he got, which I am now in possession of. My family, my children, we have anti-radiation pills. So when you hear other YouTubers telling you that you might want to invest in some anti-radiation pills, I would highly suggest that you do so. Ours, let me give you, let me give you the information, comes from Anbix, A-N-B-E-X, Anbix. Um, it's basically potassium iodide, 130 milligram tablets. They are thyroid, thyroid blocking. All right, it tells you how many to take per weight, even to a newborn. All right, we all have a pack of this. We also keep iodine in our house in liquid form because it's what I use to treat for heartworms. Guys, if you saw how I naturally treat our animals, our dogs for heartworms, that is what I use. You can go back and look at that video. It'll explain how to do it. I'm not a vet, do it at your own risk, but it is how my 81 year old father's family has for generations treated for heartworms on farms and homesteads. That's all I'm gonna say. I mean, it, it, we're watching YouTube because we no longer really trust pharmaceutical companies, correct? So maybe the heartworm pills are giving your dogs aren't the best for them. That's all I'm saying. Maybe you need to do some research and talk to some old timers. And that's what I did. If you watch any of our shorts or our YouTubes, you know that my dogs are so healthy, so beautiful. So it's super early in the morning, but I wanted to show you that, that yes, here at Storky Formstead, we have iodine anti-radiation pills already. That's all I'm saying. Second thing, I saw an update about the USDA September 9th. Was it September 9th? I think so. I have to check that again though. Like I said, it's real early. September 9th, they opened up their let's register the garden to the public. Okay guys, I'm a fence sitter on the USDA NRCS because I work with them. And I've met so many great, amazing local people who truly believe in what they're doing. I cannot get behind that. I cannot get behind registering a personal garden with the government. I've told you before, though, whether you register or not, they know that you have a garden. Please hear me when I say that. Here is how I know. I live in Greensburg, St. Helena Parish, Louisiana. Yesterday morning, a helicopter came over the area. We all we saw was like a W on the side. We couldn't read any other letters. There was no signals. There was no um, decal. We didn't know who this person was. At first I thought it was air med because they were so stinking low. My husband's like, that's not air med. There's no medical symbols on that, Sam. There's no hospital. It doesn't say air med. I'm like, well, maybe it's a forestry department. He's like, where's the symbol? So we don't know who this person was or what they were doing, but they had, it looked like a PVC pipe of about 14 feet that went long way, well, width ways, right? You got the skids for the helicopter like this and it went that way, right? And on each end was this object and it was a little hard to tell what it was. We figured out it was cameras. So they're going over the road that I live in and all the woods around me and they're going really low, really slow. And then they would hover. Then they get out here over some, what we thought was owned by the forestry department. We don't know really who owns that land. And they were going back and forth in strips. Again, when they would get to someone's home, they would hover over the home. And I literally told my husband, I was out in the garden working, picking some uh, bell peppers for the farmer's market today. This was like 6.30, 7 o'clock last night. And I said, Stephen, I'm literally like listening for the gunshots, for somebody to have had enough and shoot that helicopter out of the sky. Like you are really risking 
your machinery when you do ignorant stuff like that in a rural area. We live out here because we don't want to be hovered over. And he's like, me too. That's why I'm sitting out here with you. Like, so even my husband, who has a, a discerning of spirit gift, is like, I, even me. Like, I'm really expecting to hear gunshots any minute and see the helicopter come out of that sky. Like, it's not because people we live around are criminals. It's because they like their privacy. And you're literally hovering over people's homes and property where they have livestock. And my husband's like, because I'm telling you, if where they're at right now, there was like a lot of horses in a crowd. He's like, right now, those horses are running insane. They're like stampeding Sam. He said, that could lead to a broken leg. That could lead to a horse being trampled. That could lead to them running into the fencing, getting tangled in barbed wire. He said, and as a livestock owner, if your helicopter didn't have a federal or state decal where I knew that you had a right to some degree to be over my property, he said, I would take you out. If those were my horses going insane in a corral or my cows like trampling each other to get away from you as you hovered back over, back and forth over their field, he was like, they shouldn't be doing that. Like I, at first I thought, surely these people have permits to be doing what they're doing. But then I realized they were over our private property. How do you have a permit to be over our, my community's private property and be hovering? So the reason I tell you that story is this. Guys, if they want to know what you have, they're really going to put a helicopter above your home. Okay? There was no way. We don't have any clue what these people were doing. They were in and out all day yesterday. No notification from our local law enforcement saying, hey, expect this today, which they probably should have done. They should have. For the safety of the person in the helicopter, I'm telling you, people around here were not happy. We were not happy. I'm easy going, but I've got some neighbors maybe not so easy going. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. I'm not threatening anybody. I'm just saying like, why would you do that? So back to the USDA. Here is my thing. It's one thing to ask community gardens to like let you showcase them and most of them are getting funding from either churches or nonprofits anyway and they all, you know, the nonprofits work with the government anyway. But to ask citizens, I told y'all in the video I made about the USDA prior to this, do I think that the majority of the USDA employees want to take Americans food? No, I really don't think they do. The people above them, I absolutely think they do. So I know that sounds kind of wishy-washy, but like I tell you, I deal with the real people that work for the USDA. Those people are not boogeymen, okay? But the higher-ups, I think there's a problem there across the American government and all the big alphabet agencies. When they change, you know, they must feel the fallout across YouTube and other platforms as Americans are like, why do you want us to register gardens? For them to go back and say, well, now we want you to register your personal garden. Even though they feel the fallout, tells me something. It tells me they don't really care how we feel. That doesn't feel right. You don't need to know about a personal garden that somebody's growing. You don't, you don't need to know about any of that. We're Americans. We have rights to food. Unfortunately, it's not in a lot of our state constitutions, and it's time we get that changed. Just saying. But guys, I will tell you this. I told you in the other video I made about the USDA. I work with the USDA and RCS, and I'm not registering my garden, yet they know I'm here. And the fact that now they're asking private citizens to register their garden makes me even more of a rebel and go, no, not happening. You might know I'm here, but know this, this is private property, homesteaded property. And you have to have permission to come on this property or we, whoever you are, are going to have a problem. We're going to have a problem, a big problem. Yeah. So guys, Look into your state and where you live. Look at what the uh, private property laws say your rights are. Get smart. Seriously, look at your constitution. If there is no right to food in your state constitution, it's time that we the people get it on paper. 
So anybody in Louisiana that would like to work with me to change food policy in Louisiana, here I am, guys. My um, all over Facebook, Starkey Farmstead. Uh, you can find our my phone number and almost all the videos. Please contact me. I will work with you. I'm trying to get a group together. I don't think this should take 20 years. They're going to want to make it take 20 years. They are. And we're not going to be fundraising. We're going to do this boots on the ground, grassroots, just a bunch of local farmers, small individual, or people who just care that we not be told by the government what we can and cannot eat. See you guys have a blessed day. It is now 6.50 in the morning, and I've got to leave here in 20 minutes. I have 100 animals to take care of. So God bless you. Have a blessed day. Get out there, guys. Grow something. Plant something. Produce something today. May everything that your hands touch multiply in the name of Jesus. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.